Hello Abacus user, welcome to Abacus Acumen for quick and sound learning. Uh, today's session we are going to do on uh, submodeling. Now submodeling is a technique where actually you can do a, a modeling with a coarse mesh and then very specific region you can cut in and use submodel and with refined mesh you can get a more accurate results. So right now on my screen what you see is a global model which is on my right hand side and then I take on a specific area and zoom into that and do a sub modeling on this and uh, uh, we are able to get more accurate results now it's up to what refined mesh we are, uh, we are going to do in that that measure you will get uh, uh, more accurate results now this is very old technique and it is very useful for a lot, lot of people who want to get accurate results in very specific region so uh, we'll now go through some powerpoint presentation quick powerpoint presentation so as i mentioned the uh, today's topic is uh, sub modeling in abacus now now what is sub modeling now what i mentioned is sub modeling is finite element technique used to get more accurate results in a region of a model now it is a way to uh, zoom uh, way to zoom in on a specific uh, region of the previously analyzed model so you can analyze a previous model with a coarse mesh you can zoom into a specific area and then obtain more accurate result for that region that is what is called as a sub modeling now sub modeling technique is very s no, 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 successfully used in a stress analysis but it is not restricted to stress analysis you can get thermal electromagnetic or CFD analysis using the sub modeling technique now in this this particular chapter uh, session what we are going to do is we are going to do only for stress analysis this will be our first video then second video will be a bit advanced where uh, uh, we will do one more sub modeling so the two things general procedure and workshop general procedure is you have to create a analyze the initial model then you create a sub model perform a cut boundary interpretation and then analyze the sub model so this is just a quick what we are going to do so let's 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 start uh, let's make it to the new database and then let me set directory to the sub modeling too so we'll first create a part so part is nothing but a, a, a piece of a 6 mm in thickness and uh, 275 mm in length and a hole in that the, the reason we are uh, uh, making a hole so uh, hole in a part because that way actually uh, you can the see the stress around the hole so we put this we'll quickly put a circle around this this uh, radius is 10 so you put that 10 then then I'll just put 0 comma uh, minus 25 so I get this uh, this this uh, the lower point and then I'll put uh, 25 comma minus 25 then minus 25 comma minus 25 so I get the bottom point and then I'll I'll put 25 comma 250 then I get uh, the, the upper point and then minus 25 comma 250 then I got our upper point so I'll quickly put this done extruded by 6 millimeter thickness so we quickly uh, done the part we are going to use steel property linear elastic property will use so 210 e power 0 3.3 as a Poisson's ratio will assign a solid section to this and then then will assign this to the complete part so this way we are done a part definition now we created a part quick part now reason we are uh, created with uh, the part with hole is because then then uh, then you can see the stress around the hole and then 
that's where you see a variation and you can really do a good sub modeling in this that is the whole purpose to put a hole here now uh, now we'll put uh, assembly and then we put a part instant we are done now we'll quickly mesh it so this will be C3D8R uh, so it's a standard so there is no reduce integration error so it will be C3D8 uh, we are going to use middle axis for this which is a good uh, because then you can capture a quite a bit structured mesh around the hole if you don't use the uh, middle axis theorem then 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 uh, you'll not able to capture much around the circle and then we are going to put a 2.0 so we can see uh, one of the reason we are going to put a 2 millimeter because then 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 you can see across thickness you can get at least three element and then we'll put a mesh so we put a mesh quite a bit uh, washer we are able to get around the holes now we done that now quickly we'll put boundary condition load so we're going to fix one end and then other end we are going to pull by uh, minus 0.2 so uh, opposite of uh, vertical y-axis we are going to pull it down by minus 0.2 millimeter um, so the BC1 will be end caster so here we are going to put all all constant and then then BC2 will be I'm going to put a displacement and then um, I cannot put here I need to put a first uh, we need to create a step so we'll say step static general NL jam on initial increment will put point one and now now we can put the other boundary condition so displacement and I'm going to select this face and now you can put minus 0 0.2 you need to uh, when you give a prescribed displacement it should be under step it cannot be initial condition so that's actually we are given now I guess we are done everything so let me save this file as a main model and we'll create a quicker job on the main model so main model let's get a data check if everything is fine we can quickly go and so just waiting for data check so once data check is done we are sure that so pre-processor done so successfully done so let's uh, let's submit it and we have put NL jam on so get a, a nonlinear geometry effect in the model. So let's let's monitor where it is gone. So analysis input file processing done. Standard gone to standard. So let's wait if there is any so all equilibrium iteration, I think it's done. It's a quick model we have done it so results let's let's put in some view so what we are seeing is stresses in the vicinity of hole is in the range of 400 now now we'll cut a small portion here for sub modeling we are going to cut a small portion and we'll make make a refined mesh and we'll measure the uh, stress within that area so that is next thing we'll, we are going to do now for the the sub modeling uh, now now this is important step and you please uh, pay attention here so we are going to copy the model so it will be sub model so we just copy it so it become a sub model 
now in sub model we are going to do operation for cutting so I'm going to put a datum plane uh, XZ and then I am going to put 25 offset so I get it here and then then I am going to cut it cell using datum and I am going to select that and then say done so I cut it now the small portion I don't need this portion so I'm going to remove this yes I don't require now the portion where the 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 boundary condition was there for fixing that is removed we cut from the bottom now here actually the the bottom portion where we have put minus 0.2 that surface is there but the top where we put a uh, end caster condition it's gone now it's very straightforward now we have created then go to BC check the BC Th there is no BC now this is gone so remove it we don't require it second BC just check it this BC is there and this is in the model so we need to keep it here now here we are going to put we copied it we cut it now very important thing we have missed one one important thing in sub modeling you go to sub modeling you say edit attribute you say sub model read data read data from main model job and an important thing is uh, your main model and sub model should be should be in the the, the same database so uh, that's where actually uh, you want to have this so your main model is here now uh, we are going to this is sub modeling 2 is this is not a right directory so sub modeling 2 you have your ma main model here now we'll put you put edit attribute so it's a simple thing you go to the sub model you say edit attribute and then you say select the sub model read the data from the job and that's where you have to put it now there is one more option for shell global model driven a solid sub model this will will take later not to cook, uh, make a confusion now you can have a shell model and you can have a solid sub model also that is also possible so uh, we put this now now we'll put the boundary condition for the sub model will create it uh, it will be inside step it will be others it will be sub model so this is the top face where we are cut it the model here we are going to put a a sub model boundary condition so the displacement because of from the main model will get applied on this face and then then you are you can going to see the sub model here so you you put a BC it will be under step one you say others sub model it is uh, under initial condition you will not able to get that sub model so it is answer inside the step you say others you say sub model continue select the top surface done you select uh, global step number one now degree of freedom one comma two comma three we don't have a rotation because solid molded and we have done that and that boundary condition is put there now the important thing is we have to put a mesh again here uh, again recommended medial axis is the best for this and now we, instead of two we are going to put 0.75 you get a more finer mesh and now we'll make a job a separate job it will be sub model let's go for a data check if there is issue with data check So it's uh, writing the INP file. Once we put this, so no issue for INP file. Everything is uh, perfect. So it's successfully completed. So let's submit it. So by the time the the 
results come out just look how the sub model looks like so I I prefer to be in text pad you can look into notepad or anything oh, I, put, I took a wrong file I need to take INP so I put control and now the the boundary condition which we put a sub model so it takes star model sub model step one and then that that surface is sub model uh, surface which we are taken type node and on that set it has put this boundary condition so this is a sub model deck what you see and then you have a lesser number of elements but more refined so now now going back the results are back so let's let's check how far it has gone so it's gone to 90 successfully completed let's check the results 430 with refined model we are able to get more accurate st stress counter around 478 and uh, you can also do lot of things like a smaller portion and get more accurate answer where your area so in this particular model we are interested in the stress in the vicinity of circle and we know to get a more accurate um, uh, prediction there that's where actually we use it now uh, this is good to start with the f f on the sub modeling the the first tutorial next tutorial we are going to do if you cut the model such a way that there is no boundary condition and there is no load applied how, how to solve that problem also so thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe us or like us uh, if you have any comments on the videos please put in the comment box and then if you have any query please send to the abacus acumen at the gmail.com thank you bye bye